Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Denise with Spiritual Growth Tarot and uh, today it is uh, Eric Trump's turn to be looked into uh, for November 2021. I know he's kind of more of the boring guy, uh, but you know, gotta go through all of them, except Tiffany, I'm gonna leave her alone. Unless something comes up about her that you guys really want me to read on. But meanwhile, today it's, it's Eric's turn. <laughs> I still keep, every time I say his name or think of him, I think of Stephen Colbert's, uh, you know, where he shoves his lip up and, or he goes, he goes like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, basically does Jim Carrey's fire, fire marshal bill, right? <laughs> Both of those guys, man. Anyway, I'm going to focus on Eric and, and see what's coming up from him, for him for November 2021. Okay, let me drop the camera down. <laughs> Okay, so I got a new deck, Tarotco Studio, Visions of Life Tarot. <laughs> but I have to tell you, so it's, there, uh, the deck comes from, well, on their website it says they're based in Italy, but when I got them in the mail, they were from Russia. And I noticed that um, there are, there were no, um, well, You'll see, the images are very uh, matter-of-fact. I don't get a spiritual feel from, from it at all, but it's perfect for Eric or any of the Trumps, right? Or any of these other, you know, corrupt dirtbags that have been messing with our Constitution and rule of law who are bought and paid for by, I would say, maybe Dmitry Firtash was one of the first oligarchs who, um, I would think between Oleg Deripaska and Dmitry Firtash, uh, they managed to corrupt a lot of, um, a lot of uh, GOP uh, members. So anyway, I'm focusing in on Eric. Oh, and the, the other little thing I have to tell you is I, I wrote on the cards, let me see if I can find you, here we go, on the pips, this is Four of Wands. I had to I had to go through. It took me like an hour to figure out what was what. Some of them are blatantly on, you know, obvious, and others are, are just like, what? So anyway, I put little notes on the corner so that you guys can follow along with me. And But then again, there are names written on them, you know, to, just to bring you into like the simplicity. Um, there are names on each of the cards. So anyway, and, and I also couldn't see a reason to... Um, read reversals with this deck so this is an experiment <laughs> and I'll use the deck of character right after but I just want to try this out you guys let me know if you like it or hate it or don't care <laughs> all right but but put you know a note about the deck because I might not remember that I asked you and if you just put don't care I might think you mean it about me <laughs> I won't know whether to like the comment or not, right? Okay. I get that a lot in the comments. It's like two words and I'm like, what? I need more information. But anyway, back to Eric. <laughs> Eric. Let me just think of like his as cheesy smile. Ugh, creepy. What will be Eric's Ah, Eric Trump's experience, November 20, oops, 2021. He's still pissed. <laughs> he's just, he's a grumpy boy. All right. Okay. So the force is in motion. Ooh, justice, having to, <laughs> see what, look at this, look at that, look at that, you got all this stuff, but can you hang on to it, and meanwhile, is that an attorney coming for you? Ooh, okay, the, um, the, the biggest challenge in his life for this month Profit and loss. Yep, two of pentacles. 
So negotiating maybe. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can fit. Let's do uh, two cards for his uh, plans. Eight of Swords and um, the Tower. Wow. He's planning. He's planning for when things fall apart. Holy moly. Okay. His actual actions, what he will be doing this month. Yeah. The moon and the six of cups. Yeah. Okay. I uh, Two cards up here for the karma that's hanging over him this month. Which is, you know, just to add on to what we have here. Six of Swords. And the Page of Swords. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And then, I don't know if I'll be able to fit, but I'm, I'll do my best. Uh, four cards here. Four cards more to add on to his future. Yeah, Five of Cups. Four of Cups. Seven of Wands, and The Fool. Wow. Okay. Let me um, make sure. Well, I might have to kind of... There we go. Actually, nah, this is good. That should work. Okay, good, good, good. And then here and here, maybe I'll do this for a moment this way and then because this came in the challenge position you know it'll well I will well I'll read it both ways upright and reverse meaning okay so the forces in motion like I was saying it's justice he's having to uh, be self-responsible for not only his um, beliefs but also you know his um, attitudes his actions and, you know, everything he's done in the past. So, he's got legal problems. His greatest challenge this month is, can he manage all this? Can he negotiate uh, a better deal as he's been, you know, because they're all flipping, right? The kids are all flipping. We, I mean, I bet that months ago. I uh, So... What can, he's probably thinking like, what can I get out of this? How do we how do we work with it? I mean, it, it's like you know, there's two people here. One is losing terribly, and the other one's like, oh, dude, I don't know if I care, right? But when I see the two of pentacles, I think of juggling finances and how long can you keep those split those uh, plates spinning, and then I also think of negotiations too. That's just the way my brain works with it. So I think I'll just kind of put it here maybe. I don't, let's see, so that you guys can still see. Or actually, you know what, hold on. I'll just move my camera up just a little. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So, you know, if we read, because when, you know, when we're asking for a card in the challenge, like what's the greatest challenge, we can often read it as a reversal. So with the, the two of discs reversed, that would be that there there really is um, some struggle. There really is financial loss, which we can see here. Um, and I don't think he's got much of a backup plan other than maybe running off to another country. So, so there's that. Um, let's see, where's my... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I, what he's planning on with the Eight of Swords is probably trying to keep his mouth shut, <laughs> right? He's, um, he's feeling trapped, of course, very restricted in his own self-created prison. He's feeling hopeless, probably. And, and he's also playing the victim, you know, because that's just what he does. So he's acting like this powerless guy that's just, you know, what do I do kind of a thing, and it's just ridiculous. But anyway, with the tower here, I mean, my goodness, 
you who would think that anybody would ever plan to go through a tower moment but you know that that is how it works on a on a higher self level you know to to me when i see the tower i i feel that it's you know it's like the spiritual meaning of crisis and we go through crisis so that we can be aware of something and in his case it would be that he doesn't get away with this corruption he doesn't get away with uh you know receiving money without paying taxes on it and being completely you know in bed with his father's you know trump trump organization it's just ridiculous so so he's i think on some unconscious level his soul has chosen to go through this to go through this awful restriction so that he can meet the pain of um, where he's, ha you know, hasn't been, ha hasn't been, I mean, we just look at the images down here where he hasn't been just, he hasn't been fair. We've got the scales here. There's a sword. I, maybe what this, <laughs> with this card, maybe this is an attorney or something, you know. She, who knows? I mean, it, it looks like it to me with this hat and this sword and these scales. I think that's who this guy is here. And, you know, can't say Eric is anything like this guy. But it, for this to be plans, unless on another level, this could be something he's planning on doing to some attorney. You know, I, I doubt it's like having an affair with some guy's, you know, with an attorney's wife, but um, he, you know what, on another level, I feel like he's just, he's planning for the big change that's going to come through in his life because he can feel it coming. He can sense it, uh, you know, because this is like utter, you know, destruction here. But on another level, maybe he's trying to destroy someone else in some way. Now, what he's actually doing, <laughs> look at this, it's like the princess looking for the frog to kiss and the frog's like, stay away, oh my goodness, right? It's like Kermit the Frog, maybe. Get away from me. Um, you know, and, and they've justly titled it um, delusion. So he is acting in ways that are completely deluded. He's acting in ways that um, that deceive. He has a hidden agenda with the moon. It's often about a hidden agenda. And he might be willing to take a risk because he wants things to be the way they were when he was a kid with the Six of Cups. Also, these two cards could be that he's just really deluded about the past and maybe he doesn't, he's playing the victim because he doesn't really remember all that he did because he's so, you know, unconscious. But again, who was it? Was it him or was it Don Jr. that said, oh, we don't need all this campaign donation money. We get all, we get tons of money from Russia. <laughs> What's hanging over him, check out this image with the Six of Swords. It's like some kind of like shamanic initiation for this little lady to go home. Well, maybe she's not ready to go home yet. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, but when it comes to him, with the karma that's hanging over him, with the Six of Swords... That that means that his you know his soul does need to go through this big catastrophe and destruction in order to heal. Like he can't move forward, he can't make that big transition across the great water, which is what this card usually is about. Uh, they just you know they really changed up the images here. Um, but also, this card comes in when a person is thinking about relocation. So we might change that word down here to relocation, and he's going to need some magic shaman to help him get across that. Uh, then again, you know, the kids don't have their, they don't have Secret Service detail on them. They could plan to get away. They absolutely could. 
I, but the other thing that's hanging over him is the Prince of Swords, or what am I saying? Page of Swords. That's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's so unconscious, he just decides to get his belt out and start yelling, and then his pants fall down. Yeah. And, and they've titled it Publicity. So what's coming out, something's coming out. Maybe there'll be a lot of information that comes through because of the Paradise Papers that have been released. And, you know, the only thing is, I, it could take years for all that information to be See, that's the thing with money laundering is um, it's like invisible money and invisible people, um, you know, to, to track who they actually are is um, challenging. But they do, have, they do have some names out there already. But with the Page of Swords, um, you know, he, he's planning something and I think he's planning to get away. The question is, will he get caught with his pants down and fall flat on his face? But this is the karma hanging over him. And also on another level, of course, this is some, uh, because all the pages bring in news, and with the swords, it can bring through communications from the past. Right? And... Mm, that could be about where he has traveled and what he has done in the past. So I think there's going to be some news that comes out this month about him or his whole family. Now, here's his future. <laughs> the Five of Cups, he's majorly disappointed. I, I think this is the literally the estrangement from his other family members because they're all flipping on each other because nobody wants to go to jail or club fed, or whatever, and they really don't want to leave and live in another country, but I think maybe this is the guy that tries to go first. Um, and then, also in his future with the Four of Cups, he's, <laughs> poor boy, he's bored. He's bored, he's apathetic, he doesn't care. The Four of Cups is an offer that you don't want to take, but maybe he can't refuse it. And the clock is ticking. And it has been. And now he's like, what do I do? Basically, he just doesn't care. And then further on in his future with the Seven of Wands, you know, this, this is trying to take a major stand, but then look at this devil with the with the money <laughs> pulling it right out from underneath him right so his taking a stand is not going to work and then the fool well here let me show you both of these images that's pretty interesting right there and and on another level this rivalry card could stand for it's it is a seven of wands but it could stand for fighting between his uh siblings right and then where does he end up going he's got a new start somebody's throwing him out or he's feeling he has to run from home sweet home the fool is a brand new start new adventure it has everything to do with uh, needing to take a chance and so that he's got his freedom. Interesting. Okay, let's use the... Let's use the, the deck of character. And let me grab these pages here just in case I... Because I don't have all the meanings down with this deck. And I don't know. They're just so meant to be read intuitively, though depending on the context of the question. So if you like this deck, I have heard you can get it now or you can pre-order it. You won't be able to get it until December, but they are printing. So uh, if you like it, go ahead and, you know, go order it. Okay, so I'm going to do a row of, just like I did with his other family members, let's do a row of the characters that he will be, the character roles he will be playing and who he will be playing it with. Let's get a row for all the characters. Eric, 
November 2021. Well, let me move it over here for a moment. Okay, now the tools that he and they will be using or how he will be used. You know, because of course he's he's a tool of the dark forces. He's a tool of the negativity on the planet. He's a tool of the greed. Okay, right there. Okay, and now the places, this next row, the bottom row will be the, the places they're hanging out and where they're headed, or he's headed. November 2021. And if it takes us a little further, you know, out of November, that's okay, too. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, so characters are farming. I think this card came through with um, with Ivanka and Jared farming the self. Oh yeah, because that's all they care about. Baby Angel was in that last reading too. With Jared, <sighs> Baby Angel, weirdo, demon. Wow, same cards. Unicorn, magical thinking, and then fairy. Oh, that's right. I forgot I raised the camera up. I've got plenty of room then. Except, oh yeah, no, I should have. Okay. I should have enough room down here too. Okay, flower, egg, mirror, lounge chair, wings, whoa, breath, band-aid, hole, circus, Yep, that makes sense. These do need to go up. Oh, goodness. Okay, good enough. Plateau, same, same. Okay, this one's different. Wrestling ring, ocean, under construction, tornado. Wow. So this feels to me very tower cardy here, these two. And I always look to this last card as being the answer card in these like, you know, bigger readings. Okay, so you guys feel free to comment away as to what you see because we all have our own intuition with these images and I, I love your feedback. Okay, so opening up the reading, we have the farmer, the self, and the baby angel. So it feels to me like it's, you know, you reap what you sow, but he's going to be trying to get back to himself because it's all he cares about. He thinks he's innocent, but he's, he's not. He's absolutely not. But maybe he's also wanting to get back to younger days. You know, well, that would go with him. Remember, we did have that Six of Cups in the tarot reading. So he is wanting to, um, he wants things to be more simple. The Four Corners. He's reaping what he sows. It'll take him into a hole. And 
he can pray all he wants to all types of uh, fairies, but <laughs> are any other deities that he thinks he's uh, aligned with. But here's where he's really he's really aligned here. And this is just all magical thinking for him because you can't cheat life. You can't cheat life and the universe takes care of uh, takes care of people to, and to the point where they're having to um, you know face themselves. Okay, so let's look at so he's trying to plant these new seeds, new seeds. But they're not really going anywhere. And so this nine box square around here makes me feel like some things have already sprouted and unfolded, but it's just taken him into this hole. He's the one. He is the one who did who has created his own reality. And yeah, it's a big circus. Now he's got a new circus. Let's see what else. Let me look at um, egg. Let's look up egg and see if I'm missing anything. Just for fun. Patience, creation, protection, untapped potential, the seed of truth, delicate creativity, shell, wait for it to hatch. Feminine motherhood, a call to protect and raise your symbolic ba babies. What are you birthing? Delicate, oval, light, tiny, nurturing, care, birth, life cycle. Yeah, this this feels to me like uh, him getting in touch with what he's created from the past. And maybe he's realizing that his whole you know, life with his family has just been one big circus. Maybe he's finally seeing that because himself looking into the mirror, you know, and then the circus is down here as the place that, you know, it's not the home card. It's not, um, there's, this is not good. This is a circus tent. It's good for entertainment, and they are just so full of drama, this whole family. And again, he's like wanting to kind of be taken away to a much more innocent time, but he has to look in the mirror. That's what's opening the whole reading for this month. Just like, you know, what we had over here with the tarot, with the, um, uh, what was, I forget the first card up here, but then we had the tower. So, and remember justice was at the base. J justice was the forces in motion. Wow. So now looking at this nine box here, I'm, he might feel like he can't really do anything because this line here, you know, it's like he, he's, in, he's in so much negativity that he might feel like he just has to sit back and take it. And, and something has leveled out. He's, he's hit a plateau. And I feel like he's wrestling with, um, with what do I do kind of a thing. And this, this goes very well with that, that Six of Swords that we had in the tarot you know, wrestling with the vastness of life. I think let's let's look up um let's look up ocean. I mean I it feels to me like it's the part of, you know, like the journey of the soul. Enlightenment, fluctuations, creative power, changing tides, expanded consciousness, spirituality, comfort, allow yourself to drift, navigating your emotions. Yeah, there you go. Waves carrying you back, vast, immense, powerful, spacious, deep, the subconscious. Okay, cleanse, 
meditative, okay, engulfed journey, yeah. So he's he's wrestling. I think he's really wrestling with this fluctuation in his life, fluctuation and like ebb and tide, tides of life. He's wrestling with that. Demonic wings. That's interesting. Let's look more into wings. No, wait, that's places. I need tools. Yeah, I guess it probably would be back here. Yeah. Liberation, lightness, freedom. High vibration, excelling, bird's eye view, omnipre omnipresent, taking off. Connection with the fifth dimension, love, peace, joy, seeing the light. Um, maybe this month is about him having a lot of downtime. And he does contemplate things like that. But also, I feel like, I feel, I, I really feel like it's more like he, <laughs> yeah. heck with the meanings in the book, right? <laughs> I think he's looking for sneaky ways to, to get away across some big ocean to where he can, he can rest. And he's wrestling with how to do that, which is the best place to do it, you know. Um, of course, there are many countries without any uh, extradition treaties with the USA. There are many. But, you know, he probably, these guys are probably like Morocco. I mean, I don't know. And then again, would he want to be with his family? And, and because they're all flipping on each other, are they even going to have anything left? I mean, we did have that rivalry card that came in in the tarot, his sibling rivalry, as his future. It was over here in the future section. So I think this is, he's thinking of really sneaky ways, very, very selfish ways to serve, serve himself, the mirror he's looking into is demonic, and he's been farming those seeds for a long time. The mirror that, that he's looking into leads him to a hole, you know, because these cards all night together. And he, he just keeps looking, and it's like this vast hole. This vast, this vast demonic hole. Because he is the one that sowed those seeds, and now that's what's blooming in his life. And he has to look at that. So moving forward in time, well, he's going to need a lot of deep breathing to try and help repair his spirit, if that's even possible. Well, of course it's possible for anybody. And that is what is under construction but we've got a tornado as the last, you know, as, as the answer card in the very last card. A vast amount of, this feels like the tower card to me, a vast amount of work and reshuffling and reconstruction and, um, oh my goodness, you know, <sighs> big change could be a disaster because you know we there, we have look how the house under construction is knighting up here to the you know demonic forces and then he's got this little fairy that's going to try and fix something but it won't work because the tornado's coming the circus these two cards mirror each other. The circus. Wow. And this tornado that throws him back in a hole. It feels to me like this is just... Remember that moon card we had over here? So this it feels like it's reiterating the same thing. It's this magical thinking that's completely diluted. And he's giving life force to that. He's doing his, you know, he's doing his darndest trying to be positive. 
But no, because he's had these um, these attachments in the past, all this demonic energy, and he's still wrestling with that and, you know, trying to construct a new life. But here's the end result. So maybe I should quickly... Maybe I should use the... Um, I'll figure those, I'll have to separate those cards out later, but let, let me go ahead and use uh, the Kipper. Let's see what we get with the Kipper uh, legally. Okay. <sighs> Fun to sickle or sicka, whatever. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> By Chiro Marchetti. <sighs> End of the century is basically what it translates into. Okay. But it's so good for legal. Let's look at the legal aspects of his life. Because remember, we had that uh, justice card down here. All right, Eric's legal future. Eric's legal future. He might get away with, with a lot more than his sister does. Eric's legal future, November 2021. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Well, there's, there's Ivanka, there's his sister. Okay, don't see him in jail yet. Let's see. Okay, oh, I don't need to worry about how far up. Just fitting him sideways. There we go. Okay, so opening up the reading here. This card really should be adjudication, but I don't know why they named it adjudication. <laughs> so, so basically, let's use this color so you can see. Um, yeah, going before a judge, going to court. There, there will, there will be charges pressed. It has to do with um, foreign money. He's mulling it over. It's all he can think about this massive amount of money that's come in from foreign lands right into their real estate holdings, right into their court. These two cards up here on the top has control over his all of his investments, all of his assets. And of course they're all tied to um, you know, Trump Crime Family Incorporated. <laughs> He's worried about being uh, broke. He's worried about, you know, not having money anymore. That's all he's worried about. It, it doesn't, I don't see any heartfelt cards here. I, he's worried about the subpoenas that he has received. He's worried about the, um, the documents that um, the court and, um, you know, this, this would be, we're talking, you know, like IRS, Bank fraud, tax fraud, insurance fraud, all that stuff. And so he's worried about all those documents from the past that brought him money that was risky. It was a risk to take. But, you know, so it's basically all the same things that Trump, um, yeah, that Trump has uh, been busted for, the whole Trump... Yeah, and Weisselberg, I mean, of course, Weisselberg is not going to want to go to, um, has not ever wanted to go to, to uh, what do you call, prison or club fed or whatever for all those years when he's, what is he, 74 or something like that? I don't know how old he is. 
I might be older. But anyway, Weaselberg is not going to take the fall for these guys. Of course, Weaselberg flipped. I think. I, I can't remember. I did that reading so long ago. It's well, it's probably only a month ago. It feels like six months. <laughs> uh, anyway, the documents over the Trump crime family are very telling. And they are creating a change, a journey, the journey of his soul headed in this direction towards poverty. That's what he's really worried about. And this goes along with what we had in the um, what we had in the um, tarot reads with the Justice card and the Two of Pentacles, and and then his deception, his lies, his you know literal thievery. He and his sister did. This is not his wife. She would be the main woman if that card came through and it did not. This has to be Ivanka. And so, you know, they're all probably all talking with each other to try and keep and, you know, try to try to keep, te you know, keep your enemies closer kind of thing. But of course, they're all trying to flip. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. You know, maybe, or, or they're all trying to flip on each They're all thinking they can flip on each other, but maybe not because maybe they can all implicate each other. And who knows, maybe they've banded together. But remember, we had that rivalry card over here. So he might be doing a little bit worse with it. Now, Don Jr. is the one that could go down for obstruction of justice because of... Um, you know, he, he was definitely in on that, trying to get the um, dirt on Hillary back in 2016. <sighs> you know, he, he there's a document that proves that. Uh, Eric, what I'm thinking is, he's really worried about losing money. He's worried about, you know, going to jail foreign money is implicated and I think he might be trying to I uh, suck up to he's trying to suck up to Ivanka and it could be that Ivanka is trying to suck up to him too like maybe those two think that they can get off sooner but uh, her reading was her reading looked terrible she literally had the jail card but moving forward through just November, I mean, we have the thief knighting to the false person, and that is what's touching her her card. So I think she's she's sucking up to him, acting like she can give him something. But all it's going to do is it, it. So well, on another level, she could be talking to him. He and Jared, or her her and Jared, could be talking to Eric and um, what's her name, Laura or Lara, whatever, um, about how do they get away. Because one of them had the airplane card down here. I can't remember. Was that? I think it might have been Don Jr. Yeah. Which, yeah. Okay. So, anyway. I lose track of who's who. <laughs> so, Ivanka is lying and trying to get away with something or they're all they're all in on it together i kind of tend to think that they're they're in on it together they're trying to figure out what to do and they're all flipping on their dad is what i'm pretty darn sure of and this is you know it doesn't have to be lovers it's just where they're connected to in bed with you know committed to they're committed to getting out of this. <sighs> yeah. They're committed to getting out of this. I'm wondering, is Eric is Eric ever going to be locked up? I don't know if I've ever asked this before. Is Eric ever going to be locked up? Well, he's certainly really worried about it, so he knows he's guilty. He's going to be really worried about it for a long time. 
Oh, he's worried about his kids. Worried about some new information coming through. Yeah, he's worried about his kids and his family. Who will take care of them? Will he lose his wife while he's gone? He's hitting up his mom for support. That's Ivanka. Or, I'm sorry, Ivana. All right. Where is this all going to lead him? You know, because there's that tornado card coming through. Now, there he is. That's him. Trying to, yeah, talking to his mom. What can he do? And it's official. The rules and regulations um, will push him in that direction. I, I, I think he's going to go try and live in another country. I think she lives in France, but there's extradition. There are extradition laws in France that we, yeah, he's just worried. He's worried about all the documents and communications that have come out. It's going it's to cause him an ulcer if he doesn't already have, I'm sure he already has one. Because And he's just waiting. But I don't know if he's, um, I'm, I'm not getting any jail cards here. And that's, could be his dad. So anyway, yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing the jail cards here, but definitely this is a problem here. And the you know the laws coming after him. Okay, well that's all I have for this guy <laughs> for November. Okay, thanks you guys. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Hugs. Bye.